Hello, this is Onyx Tarot, and today I'm going to be doing a message for Capricorn. So thank you all so much for hitting the like button, subscribing. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to book a personal reading, feel free to check that out in the description box. All right, so let's go ahead and do a message for Capricorn. All right. So we have East Shield, which is a card of illumination and clarity. All right. So let us find that in here. Okay. So East Shield, illumination and clarity. All right. So that's that if you guys want to pause that and read that but i like to do the application so the east shield card represents a need for clarity in some part of your life it may also mark a time of illumination when things when suddenly things seem, begin to fit together and make sense to you if you have been confused now is the time to ask for order in your life Order can be restored through making lists of things to do, cleaning up your living space, or finishing old projects. When order is restored, you are then more receptive and can find the clarity that you need. The illumination of the East can also be asking you to assist another in finding clarity. Sharing your ideas may bring illumination as others give you feedback. It may also be a time to heal old wounds or negative thoughts so there is room for clarity to enter your life. Be creative and daring in order to stretch your concept of who you really are and venture into new realms of understanding. In all cases, the East Shield marks a time of new freedoms that come with wiping the mud from your eyes and seeing things and seeing with the eye of the eagle. Observe which thoughts keep you in the blinders and clear that blindness through summoning your courage and taking flight. So essentially... This is just saying, if you are looking for and searching for some type of clarity of, of a situation, you're going to be gaining that. This is like um, a card of like, of course, wiping your slate clean, if that makes sense. But like you're essentially finding your new direction. Um, you're finding a new direction based on something new that has happened or something that's recently happened. Um, let's clarify East Shield. yeah see look at that tower something is going on in your life and your energy we have a tower five of pentacles three of pentacles reverse eight of pentacles reverse ten of swords yikes will of fortune reverse and the nine of swords all right <clears throat> all right so let's see what we have here um let's move that down okay so yeah, a lot of you may be going through some type of tower moment right now where literally you are literally looking for clarity or, or trying to figure out like what your next steps are um, in a situation. I feel like everything that's happening right now, sorry, this is bothering. Everything that's happening right now is actually happening for a reason because you're about to, I feel like the next five days to five weeks, to, is today the fifth? Five of Pentacles. Um, something could have happened today or you could have had some type of realization today but whatever it is i feel like again it's like it, the the king of swords like it, the king of swords can be like a higher power but essentially it's like someone who is directing this like everything that's happening now is meant for you to kind of like take the next five days okay and the, the number five could be very prevalent um over the next you know five weeks okay but like it, you're supposed to be if you resonate with this essentially finding your new direction and the tower is happening and whatever tower it is it's like a control tower like it's not you know i guess everyone's reading uh, if you resonate with this would be different but essentially it's like something where it may seem bad it may seem like you're stressed it may seem like you're trying to figure out what the heck is going on but essentially, it's leading you to what is next for you, if that makes sense. 
So yeah, whatever tower this is, we have the judgment reverse. So you could have felt or you could feel like there's some type of decision that um, isn't going in your favor or something just like isn't isn't fair. This is something that you may be in a place where you're like, uh, I'm not fighting you over this. I'm not arguing <laughs> with you about this. It could be with a feminine figure or a mother figure or some like feminine energy who likes to start conflict or likes to start fights or wants you to see their perspective. Yeah, because I feel like whatever this is, somebody's like standing their ground on something and I feel like it's meant for you. It's like it's almost like someone wants someone wants you to fight with them, but you're supposed to be or you are. I feel like you're it, you're not engaging with this person like i said it could be a friend or a friend of a family a mother figure in your family or a friend a close friend or something like that but whatever it is i feel like you're in a space where you're withdrawing your feelings withdrawing your emotions you're not um you're not engaging with this person in the way that they expected you to how do they expect you to react so this person expected you to react or they expect that this hasn't happened you to react in a way where you're just going to do something impulsively the knight of wands reverse is someone who's very immature and also it's like someone thought that you were going to react in like a um aggressive like like or not aggressive but a very impulsive way like if this is a job someone's like oh yeah they're gonna quit they're gonna quit if this is a family situation so it's like yeah they're, they're gonna leave yeah they're gonna you know you know whatever they're trying to get you to do and i feel like instead you just i, I just see that you're going to withhold your energy like you're not going to give them the reaction uh that they're wanting because the eight of swords reverse like you, it's like you know that someone is trying to bother you you know that someone is trying to trigger you you know what someone's plot and play is <clears throat> And because you're analyzing it and because you're seeing it like firsthand, um, I feel like you're not going to engage with this person, okay? Especially in the way that they're expecting you to with the chariot reverse, okay? Like you're just going to put a stop to something before <laughs> before it even gets to the point of um, an argument or gets to the point of you going back and forth with someone. So we have the five of pentacles. So like I said, something may throw you off um, tied to a, fan, a friend, family member, work environment situation whatever however it may resonate but you literally are given the the tools to handle the situation with poise and uh this situation happening or dynamic shift happening is actually meant for you to be able to see like okay this is not what i'm doing i'm going to leave that in the five of pentacles but what am i going to do next especially if this is with your money with work with opportunity with the family situation something must end I feel like you're going to get some type of clarity and confirmation for a lot of you on the 10th of August, um, especially if you've been waiting for some type of answer on something. Um, if this is like work, maybe you're looking for like a new job. If this is housing, you're looking for a new housing or a new place or whatever the case is or confirmation of something. Or you're literally just waiting for some type of answer. Um, and whoever this is is kind of trying to see if you're going to freak out or see if you're going to how you're going to react or see if you're going to overly defend yourself or put effort into arguing with them however it may resonate it's giving like triggering energy i feel like the 10th could be very important for like a green light on something so i do feel like a lot of you are just going to be in a hangman energy where you kind of just protect your energy and i feel like letting something letting something play out and letting someone be immature letting someone talk to you you know just kind of like let just protecting your energy and kind of like letting someone do something but not literally but you get what i'm saying will lead you to the answers like again i feel like the 10th is going to be so important to you being in a sound state of mind and ha or get, having the answers given to you through somebody else through a king or queen of cups energy um and also this has to do with a family matter or money matter or contracts or ten of pentacles however it may resonate um i feel like again something something is already set in stone for you and this is also why someone's upset so like again if this is money or family situation contract um agreements divorce marriage all things ten of pentacles work something is already like 
there for you. Seven of Pentacles, you've been waiting for something patiently, but someone's upset that they either have to like, they don't have control over you. They don't have control over what you do. Um, or somebody's upset that like they have to pay you something or give you something or that they made a bad decision or bad financial decision or they're upset about something. So again, whatever they're upset about, I feel like you not reacting the way the way that they expect you to actually like it, it protects your peace. And also this is going to be a great time for you to like, again, protect that energy and put it into what's happening next. Like, what are you manifesting? Okay. Um, also, this is a good time. Like the, the book says, if somebody needs your advice or your help on something, someone may call you like, Hey, do you need, you know, can you help me with blank, blank, blank? And I feel like this is going to be really helpful tied to some type of future um, manifestation as well, okay? Um, but the Wheel of Fortune Reverse, whoever is doing this to you, um, sad to say, because I don't know if it, like if this is somebody close to you or somebody like work-wise or a family member, their their karma is them. They're, like, they're going to be stuck in their life and their misery and their how, what, however they're stuck. And they're going to have to sit and watch you be successful, sit and watch you move forward in a family matter, sit and watch you conquer and um, move forward in your job and your career, sit and watch you be brave and courageous. But this person is going, <laughs> yeah, they're going to be kind of stuck. And I feel like things are about to move forward for you, which is why, like, maybe energetically this person's coming after you or gossiping or involving third parties or whatever the case is. But um, whatever this is, I, I do feel like you'll work through some type of disappointment. But instead of reacting to this person, kind of just see things for what they are. And that energy that you are supposed to be planning towards your future and doing, you know, not spring cleaning, but summer cleaning, right? Or uh, planning your next steps away from this situation as you wait for something or as you're, you know, figuring out something, whatever, however may resonate. You're supposed to be putting that energy towards like positive things, good things, productive things, instead of uh, arguing or going back and forth or being worried about this person. Like I said, this person ends up, I don't want to say again in karma, but like you you end up seeing their whole situation kind of uh, implode after you get the things that's owed to you or after you ignore this person or after you get some type of blessing that you've been waiting for tied to the situation. Yeah, you, um, this could happen in the form of a new relationship that you're in, a new partnership that you're in. Um, this could be in a form of you taking things to the next level with some type of partnership or job um, relationship. <sighs> Cutting off your access to this person, whether they're close to you, family or not, whatever they are. Um, a lot of you guys are going to be focusing on your home life, relationships, that kind of thing, ending, ending all communication with this person. But whatever it is, you're going to be able to successfully plan and move forward. And I feel like this person that whoever, however this reading resonates, they're going to be stuck in this cycle at least through the next two years. Okay, so like I said, someone in your life doesn't have clarity on their next steps or what they're doing. And it's almost like they're trying to like switch <laughs> switch positions uh with you like and make you confused or you know trigger you or say something to you or see how you're going to react to something but you win by just focusing on yourself disengaging with this person ending some type of you know communication or ending some type of going back and forth or whatever and just letting things play out um but this is going to be a really good time as far as figuring out what is going to make you happy and what direction you're going in and also using that energy of the tower using the energy of a relationship shift a dynamic shift work shift financial shift whatever shift is going on using that energy and like transmuting it into something amazing uh, as something plays out for you. Okay. So I do hope that was helpful. Feel free to let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for your comments and thank you all so much for watching.